All right, I'm down in my basement. The uh, lighting's not that great, but I think you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So uh, about 20 years ago, I was in South Florida, down around the Naples area, and went into a tackle shop there off of the main drag. I forget what it is, but right off the beach there, there's a tackle shop near the, where the trailer park where my friend's grandma lived, and we were staying with her. Anyway, I bought this. Right here, same more. You see how chewed up it is. The guy there told me it was a special order. I don't remember the name of the order. Just that it was a special order color that he had. he was the only one that had these. So it's like a fluorescent uh, yellow on top and a pink underneath type of thing. Now I think. So, I thought it was clown color. That's the guy I remember. He told me it was clown. So, I saw clowns. So I ordered a bunch of bomber long A's. Which is this right here. I'm pretty sure they are the same. Or perhaps it's a knockoff. I don't know. They're not exactly the same anyway don't know if this is a knockoff this this one up here is the Pradco Outdoors Bomber Long A that I just purchased but like five of them because I thought it was this so anyway I wrote uh Pradco Outdoors and a guy named Stephen Biggerstaff wrote me back very promptly. Oh, this is also a Mark Sosin. I don't think that's a Pradco though. I'm not sure who makes those. They work real nice. But this thing right here makes them crazy. I caught a four pound mangrove snapper on this. Uh, when did I catch that? Like in April down in Florida? Anyway, so I bought some primer, some fluorescent yellow, or chartreuse, whatever you want to call it, and some fluorescent pink. And I proceeded to spray paint me some. So I'm going to try these when I go back to Florida. What I did was I sanded them down, sanded all the paint off of them, primered them with the white, and some of them, like uh, this one right here, I masked, oh yeah, I got the hook stuck in everything. I masked this yellow from, this or, uh, from the pink, because if you spray the pink and yellow over each other, uh, it turns the pink to orange, which I don't want. I want this pink color. These, this one right here, I sprayed the whole thing white and then lightly sprayed the top and then came back and lightly hit the bottom with the pink. I did that on a couple of these. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, this one right here, I, uh, I masked off with tape and then did the uh, yellow. Well, first it was all white primer. Then I masked off a spiral and sprayed it with the yellow or yeah the yellow and then I peeled the tape off put the tape onto the yellow and then sprayed the pink to keep them separated you got to keep them separated <laughs> this one I masked off a straight line down its tail and again all white so anyway, yeah, Pradco wrote me back. Stevens bigger staff wrote me back and said, "Yeah, I could, uh, I could get them painted. Minimum order would be three hundred pieces at full retail. <laughs> so like eight bucks a pop or whatever they are." <laughs> so uh, yeah, I told him that I would be painting my own and I would sell them back to them as art <laughs> at five times retail. Minimum order of four. <laughs> Anyway, if anybody knows this lore, what that tackle shop was down in South Florida, Naples, let me know.